My name is Jacqueline Bush and I am an editorial and celebrity hairstylist. My clientele has included Faith Hill, Mark Ruffalo, Terrence Howard, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jane Krakowski. I want to be able to show you that hair isn't as intimidating or as hard as you think it is and I want you to be able to have fun with it and do what your vision is with your hair. So now I'm going to show you how to style layered long hair. Now there are two different ways you can do this. The first method is to use a brush and take it through, blow dry each section by section in different directions. And what I found is that for everyday use for the consumer, even on myself, this can be really difficult because it takes a long time. Uh, and it's also very hard to get a lot of control over the hair. So when you're in a hurry in the morning, the easier way to do it, which is what I'm gonna show you today, is using a curling iron. Now the main curling iron I use is a one inch barrel curling iron. The brand I love is called Hot Tools. This you can pick up at any local drugstore. It's, it's actually one of the best curling irons on the market and it's really cheap. Uh, so what I'm going to do, starting at the bottom of Monica's hair, so I'm gonna take it through Monica's hair. She already has a little bit of heat protector on her hair so that her ends don't get too dry. I'm gonna silk it through one time just very gently. As you notice, I didn't take it, clamp it, and keep it there because as the camera will show, you notice how when I did that, it dented the hair. I'm doing it a couple of times because I showed you guys the dent, so now I have to get the dent out of the hair. Now I'm gonna take her first little piece here, and I'm just gonna curl it. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. Just very simply, just to give it a little bit of body. I'm going to take her next session, section, and again, as you notice, I'm not, I'm not being too precise. One of the keys to getting that nice, natural-looking wave is not about a lot of precision, especially when you're in a hurry. It's also not about super curling your end. So I'm going to take the iron. Again, I'm going to silk it through. Now this time, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Now she's got one piece going forward towards her face, the other piece going away from her face. This time I'm gonna take the iron, and as after I silk it through the hair, I'm gonna do something different. As you noticed before, I, take, I took the iron and I clamped it down on it as I did my curl. This time, I'm gonna do something. I'm just gonna hold my iron vertical to the hair, and I'm gonna wrap the hair around it. I'm gonna hold it there for a moment. then I'm going to let it fall. And as you see, it gave a little bit of something different than these two. So I'm going to go through the whole head now, just doing section by section, not worrying too much about how thick my sections are. Some I might be curling ends in all different directions. That's the key. If you don't do it in different directions, you're not going to see your layers. Silking then curling. So now I have the curl in the hair and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to use a little bit of pomade, just a small amount, fingertips worth amount. This is a shine, uh, a shine paste from, again, Renee Furtur. I'm going to emulsify it in my hands so that it's evenly distributed through the tops of my fingers. If I'm getting it down here, I probably am not gonna to be touching that part of the hair, so then you end up wasting product. So I've rubbed it in my hands, gotten it nice and warm, and now what I'm gonna do is just break up that, that curl a little. And as you can see, now, now you see the different pieces of Monica's hair, you see the movement, whereas before it kind of grouped together as one whole piece. You can now see the different layers and all the texture in her hair. And that's how you style long layered hair.